So what is Davy Jones? <laughs> Davy Jones is the story of an old pirate who um, got raped by an octopus. <laughs> Pirates are a beautiful story of morality. It cuts right into the heart. It's like South Park. Living the life of pirate is like watching South Park in real life. It gets right to the fucking meat of the situation and just tells you like how it is. It's like a game of morality. You're going around stealing from people and like robbing all their shit and pillaging. But at the same time, if you commit acts of violence against your crew and shit like that, They'll mutiny against you. Yeah. And then there's like depth and lore and all this shit. And there's like real pirate lore, like the real fucking world. But Davy Jones is an old story of a pirate who was a lot, who literally lived in the real world. It's a real pirate. The tale is to teach morals to little pirate kids. It's a crazy story like that because like, you know, nursery rhymes, right? Yeah. Little Red Riding Hood or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. Davy Jones is a nursery rhyme that pirates would tell the little pirate babies. Really? Yeah. That's hilarious. It's so unique in that way. Davy Jones was a pirate back in the day who would hoard all of his gold from his crew. So they'd steal the gold, but he'd keep all the gold in his room. So normally the captain would share the gold with the whole crew. Yeah. Like it's us versus the world, not you versus me. It's us versus the world. We yeah. take the rest of the world and we enjoy it all shared. So it, it is actually like a nursery rhyme kind of story for little pirate babies. Wait, so how did he get turned into the thing? He got punished by the gods. He got sent to the depths of the ocean and then all the animals integrated with his whole crew. They sunk his whole crew. He's forced to live forever in this like eternal punishment of hell where he's, that's why he's like, oh, do you fear death? I can offer you an escape because he's offering immortality. The catch is that they join his crew and they have to suffer eternally as well. So he's in that way also like a genie because he'll grant you the wish of immortality, but he'll also take something away from you, which is why Davy Jones and SpongeBob granted them wishes and which why he was like a genie. Wait, what? That was the Flying Dutchman, not Davy Jones. Davy Jones's ship is the Flying Dutchman. I never knew this. You didn't know that? No. So the ship got taken down. The ship is the, uh, the Flying Dutchman. What? So who is the actual ghost of the Flying Dutchman? Well, the ghost of the Flying Dutchman is supposed to be Davy Jones, but they just changed the names. But well, Davy Jones is immortal in hell and supposed to basically live forever and they're tied to their ship. But depending on the story, because every pirate story is different, depending on the lore, like in Pirates of the Caribbean, he can't let his feet touch the ground, solid ground. It has to be in the water. Right. It has to be in ocean water. Uh -huh. So it's like at one point they want to take him on the water so they have to carry him in a bucket of ocean water. That's like his thing, he's tied to that. The original Davy Jones story that they tell to little kids to make sure that they don't hoard gold is like the gods gave him what he wanted. Like a genie, they'll give you what you want with a lot of catch to it, a lot of twist to it because everything comes with a price. So he actually became the richest pirate. He got the, all the treasure. He got the most treasure in the world and he continues to get the most treasure in the world because they bound him to the to the bottom of the ocean. They chained him to the bottom of the ocean and they said, you get to own all all the wreckage of all the ships, all their, their gold that they have on their ships when they all go down in storms or when they attack each other, and all the treasures that float to, that sink to the bottom of the sea that will never be recovered, you get to have it all. But you're chained here to the bottom of the sea and you can't fucking go to the surface and spend it on food and eat, enjoy the food. But you get all the gold that you want. Yeah. And so he's forced to live in an eternity of hell realizing how foolish his goal was of just chasing yeah. gold. Yeah, it's a sick, sick story.